Standing by, State Treasurer of Louisiana, John Schroeder. Hey, Mr. John, welcome back to Keel. How are you this morning? Good morning, guys. How are y'all? Well, let's start with oh. the $300 million Louisiana budget surplus. Oh, whose couch was all that cash under? First of all, is that number legit? Are you, are you pretty sure that's what we've got? Well, let me tell you, we, we, we finished up with a balance of over $400 million in cash in, in our account when we closed the books. Then uh, some things need to be reconciled. Uh, uh, they have these things called carry fours, but at the end of the day, uh, we're gonna have, we will have a surplus unless they really, really do something odd. Uh, north of three hundred million dollars. How does that happen, Mr. Schroeder? How do we how do we not know that we have three hundred million? Did, what did we miscalculate, and who did it? Yeah, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not quite ready. This this is probably a couple days early, and uh, let, let me just start off with this. I I really wasn't ready to to have this conversation, uh, but somehow the media found out. Uh, your colleagues over there on the print side, mm-hmm. and um, uh, they I got a phone call, I think on Thursday, and, uh, you know, so when the media calls, you got one or two choices. You either talk to them or you, you put the information out the way you want. And I chose, I chose to put the information out rather than, than um, the media doing it. The impression, uh, pardon me, the impression that we've gotten from the governor, or at least the governor's folks, is that, uh, you know, you might be talking a little early, that maybe it's, it's, maybe it's some kind of miscalculation, that it's really too early to say what that number is, if that number really exists at all. Do you think they're the ones being, do you think they're, do you think they're the ones jumping the gun? Well, let me ask you something. If you supported raising taxes and all of a sudden you had a $300 million surplus, what would you say? Yeah, I'd, I'd be a little mystified by how this happens. Yeah. So how do so you I'm, think down I'm the just, line, how do you think down the line the governor and his folks are going to explain this? Oh, uh, spin, 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 then more spin, spin, spin. They're going to come out with some great talking points, talk to you how great the economy's doing, you know, but at the end of the day, um, as we sit on, on this Monday in September, uh, government's growing, getting bigger, fatter, uh, more out of con- growth. So in and your so mind, pardon not- me, Mr. John, so in your mind, the governor is going to come out in the next, say, 72 hours, or at least when these numbers are solidified. Governor John Bell Edwards is going to stand up and say, $300 million extra, this is awesome. What can I spend it on? Well, that's my biggest, that's my biggest problem, to be honest with you. Uh, you know, it's not a bad thing to have a surplus. But it is a bad thing to have a surplus on top of a, uh, of a, a huge sales tax increase uh, because it was all doom and gloom, you know, no more football at LSU. Uh, we, if worse than anything, we're going to kick elderly out of nursing homes, all to find out that we're going to have a surplus. We're definitely going to have a surplus. Uh, you can take that to the bank. How did somebody uh, not know that, John? How did, how did nobody in state go? We had a few of our local lawmakers here saying, Hey, these numbers are, are 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 messed up, but nobody in state leadership said, that, you "Guys, it's not as bad as we're saying." Yeah, and I won't. I'm not prepared yet, and I will know. Um, and I don't know how long it'll take me. You know, a day, two days, three days. Um, I haven't yet seen all the data on where these numbers come from. I have a I have a good idea, and I have talked with staff, obviously. But these are some things that I, I need to I need to lay my eyes on and make sure I'm correct before I speak. Do you think uh, do you is is there any possibility that that three hundred million dollars that that number of three hundred million might be low? Uh, no, it's going to be right around that. Um, it's going to be right around that. Now, that, now that's not counting. Uh, you know the online sales tax that goes that will uh, somehow go in effect early next year. Uh, the, the, these are numbers that uh, uh, you know. This is this is money that's already sitting in our coffers, and um, from a, 
a variety of different areas. Now, you and, uh, you and the governor have disagreed, uh, and, and I'm sure will continue to do so. Um, but if, if John Schroeder were in that governor's chair what what would you do with that what would you do with that 300 million would you give it back well it's not our money you know it's it, it belongs to you and the citizens of louisiana i just my problem my problem with not only this governor but even the past governors we take these surpluses and, and um you know that it's constitutionally mandated on what you do with it mm-hmm. you know everybody knows we have infrastructure problems but we, we tend to spend some of this money on pet projects, which just drives me absolutely nuts when we have severe infrastructure problems. So that's that's my biggest heartburn with it. Um, it again, it's not a bad thing to have a surplus. It is, a, it is in my opinion, um, uh, probably not a good thing on top of, of raising uh, the, the taxes on the people of Louisiana. We will see these numbers. They're not going to be able to run and hide from them. We will know how much came from um, from uh, tax collections, whether that be income or sales. We'll be able to identify exactly what made this money up. And then, then you know what? We'll see what happens. Um, and I, I'm, I'll be willing to bet you that, uh, that you're really not going to like it. I, I think it's going to come from a good portion of it's going to come from uh, tax collections, which means somebody missed the numbers, mm-hmm. um, and and it's going to be a pretty good tune. Uh, but again, that's data that I haven't seen yet. Uh, this has all sort of happened, you know, since last Thursday. I wasn't in Baton Rouge on Friday, so I, I haven't seen the numbers myself. I'm talking to my staff, and again. If the media doesn't call me, we're probably not even talking about this yet. Will you Will you keep in touch with us? Because I want to know how it gets so out of whack. I want to kind of drill down and find out how did we miss the mark by so much and then and therefore putting a tax burden on me and everybody else in this state. Yeah, I guess absolutely I'll do that. You guys um, have always, um, you know, reported accurately. And, and yes, I, I don't have a problem with that. I guess the bottom line is this. You have an administration whose number one focus is to grow this government and not to keep it in check. I want to keep it in check. It's just a totally different philosophy. I'm going to look and see where we can save every penny. Uh, you asked what I would do. That's what I would do. I, I, I would, first of all, I wouldn't have supported raising tax. Um, I would have made made difficult decisions and and had less government than more. 